<laughs> what's up you guys i am back with another youtube video and today i'm going to be doing the story time that i'm sure you all have been waiting for the beyond scared straight story time okay so i'm just gonna right into it because i think i'm gonna have to do a couple parts because I like I said, I'm giving you the behind the scenes. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not knocking nobody's hustle. All I'm saying is I have not seen a kid yet that was on Beyond Scare Straight that has an actual YouTube channel that actually talked about it. I mean, everybody has their stories, but then when you get the full out through it, it's oh, I wasn't on the show. It was just a. It was just a. Um, it was just a jail thing that was called the Beyond Scripture. Just, just stuff like that. No, I'm going to give y'all what it is. What it is with the cameras, what it is with the jail, everything, everything, everything. Now. <laughs> I hope she don't start fussing. Okay, so. Babe, no. Don't start. Okay, so beep this. So we we decided we were gonna go on the show, or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna disclose how we got there, but I will say that um, just a lot of talking to people and a lot of paperwork. So that's that's how we got there. Um, anyway, they what they did was. They wanted to see if we were actually candidates for the show. So what they did was they sent us, I think it was two cameras. Not cameras like a, it was just like a red and black, real small camera like. And um, they was just like, you know, record your everyday life. And that's what we did. We recorded our everyday life. Um, you know, then we sent them back. We shipped them back to them. They gave us a package to ship them back. We shipped them back to them. They, I guess they looked at them. They was like, no, we want your girls. We want your girls on the show. We want your girls. So I'm like, oh, it's about to be on. <laughs> it's about to be on the poppin'. <laughs> so they asked, they was like, hey, do you have a, do you have a, a video of your girls, you know, having any fights or whatever? Cave in. And I'm like, I don't think I do. Mama asked me, I said, I don't think I do. But then, ooh, that camera's shaking. Stop. So, you doing this on purpose. You know I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> okay, so forgive me if the camera is shaky. Um, I got it on this flexible tripod, and it's like hugging a pillow right now. So, and she's not going to be still for you guys. I'm just going to keep it. A, I'm going to keep it a zip. She's not going to be still. And this camera's going to shake like hell this entire conversation. Okay, so what happened was um, after we sent the stuff in, they told us that they wanted us or whatever. And then they asked about a fight video. And, excuse you. And um, I was like, no, nah, I don't have one. Or whatever, and my brother, well, my stepbrother, he had one, so he sent it to my mom. My mom sent it to them. So that's how that little clip of that fight got there. They did not um, record that fight. That's how that fight got on the show, and it was an old fight, anyway. But it was it was relevant because it was still in the same house that we was at. So. We got, they sent us our, our plane tickets and, you know, because um, we oh, were in Texas. So they sent us our plane tickets to get there. They put us in a hotel and the hotel was double tree. It was a double tree hotel. So, you know what I'm saying? We, we flew down there. We did two planes there and um, we got to the double tree hotel. When we got there, we was very tired. No, no, no. Let me let me back up a little bit. Let me back up, back up, back up a little bit. When we got off the plane, okay. So if you if you've never flew before, and that was our very first time flying, we flew we we flew 
we flew many times after that but that was our, our very first time flying of course we are pissed we have jet lag honey we ain't we're not living for the morning okay we're tired so when we got there it was a lady that greeted us she's like hi so this is what's gonna happen so the sh <laughs> sweet lady she's like this is what's going so when when you guys get on the escalators that's when the cameras will start rolling so she gave us a whole back thing of that i'm like okay and so we are already tired now i didn't know like I, i'm thinking these gonna be some small cameras no this man got this camera on his damn shoulder with this flash on it and i'm irritated honey and, and then i'm just i'm not here for it i'm not here for it i'm tired so we get there and immediately i look down and i see about two cameramen you know and i'm just i'm like uh oh. like I, and then i'm so i looked at the cameras and i'm like oh i know what kind of part it is gonna be so we get that don't do that baby okay okay so we 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 get down there off the escalators or whatever and we're looking for our bags now i don't know what we're looking for our bags but there's a camera to y'all, it looked like a camera far away. That camera was just on my shoulder just as well as it was on his. And I'm just like, ugh. So my sister got really pissed off. She wouldn't um, record for them. She wouldn't speak to them. Nothing. I'm talking about for a whole 24 hours, she acted like a donkey. So... <laughs> uh, we got on... We got into the van, then we got to the Double Tree Hotel. We got there, they told us, just go ahead and get some sleep and some rest, and yeah. we'll deal with it all tomorrow. So, we get there, and then this was like a week's worth of stuff into an hour and a couple minutes. Shoved into an hour and a couple minutes. So, we, we get there, whatever, we get to the hotel, and, you know, we sleep over and overnight. We get up in the morning, and my sister still won't talk to the lady. She won't talk to the camera people either. So, the lady asked me, she said, what makes your sister, like, what can we do? Of course, TV is going to do anything to get you to cooperate, honey. So, they was like, what can we do to get you? I said, just go apologize to the girl. Just go apologize. She went and apologized to this girl. And just like that, my sister was back on the camera. Now, um... So, you know, we, we we chilled for like two days. We, we actually went sightseeing and we um we went sightseeing with the camera people and we went um I know this sounds like a walk in the park, right? <laughs> okay, so we went <laughs> we went sightseeing with the people or whatever and you know we went swimming, you know, all the You better close your legs, girl. Who do you think this is? Who she think she doing? She needs to chill out. Okay, so after we went sightseeing or whatever, um, we got back. It was like two days before we actually went. We went that next morning. Now we went. We got on. We got in a taxi. Now I'm gonna tell you. Here's the story. So we got in the taxi, and when we got in the taxi or whatever, he was talking to us or whatever. I, here's my thing: you you can, I understand what these people they explain to you, they pay you to to show us around and all that. Please, baby, stop my camera shaking. Okay, so um, they pay you to do all this. Please don't give me no. I I, I hated that. Like, and, and I never understood that. Like, you can do as many pep talks as you want to a child, but when they're far gone, they're far gone. Like, there's nothing you can do. You get what I'm saying? Don't have no, I hated that. I'm like, ooh, I feel you. I understand what you went through back in your day and time and this, this, that, and the third degree. But, baby, you got to hush, honey. I just want to get to where I'm going. Mmm. day <laughs> stop i'm trying to do a video you rude so anyway so after that or whatever um 
we got there. When we got there, they opened the door 